Hi, my friends. Today we model this part, which has the name uh, Mesmerizing Piece. And the drawing has a uh, very few dimensions. 60, 60, radius 10, thickness of 2, radius 10, whole of 10. This is the part. Let's start. If you think you can do it uh, for yourself, please stop here and start your uh, version of this uh, model. New standard millimeter IPT. Start new sketch. The start plane is this one. I turn the image to have X to the right and we draw a simple line of uh, 60. I place the midpoint of this line over the center point finish sketch and we have something instead of nothing. Now I apply that uh, new hot procedure you learned in the previous tutorial. I apply plane and uh, I go to sketch. I select line. I create a plane at 60 which has a sketch you see X is uh, uh, vertical let me draw the first the line here in this sketch also 60 and the center the midpoint placed on the center point projection of the center point. I hide this plane and we apply a tool from here which has the name loft. I select first sketch I select the second sketch, I can select them here, first and second. Okay, now we have here something very, <laughs> very impossible. You see, I don't want to change color because I apply thick and offset of this shape symmetrical of 8. Okay, now we have a solid, not a surface. I hide the surface, the basic surface, and we go for the... I apply circular pattern I select the part, all the part, and I select an axis. The axis is Y. Y. I want to have two instances, not six, placed at 90 degrees. Okay. Wow, what a part is here. You see, good, but uh, I don't like these faces, they are uh, curved to make the part which has uh, horizontal faces, not curved or plain faces. I'll create a new plane based on this one 
and placed as uh, up as I see here. I use this to cut the part. I apply split. This is the cutting tool and I select this solution. Okay, now I have a plain face. I do the same up plain based on this and containing this point. Again, split. This is the cutting tool. Now I select the other option. Okay. What is the distance between the planes? Measure with M from Monaco. I measure this distance, which is 56.422. I copy this value by selecting here. Copy, done, and I move this plane up to compensate that uh, cutting. I add to the six. 60, the parenthesis 60 minus paste, close parenthesis. Now this plane is upper from before. The result is here and we can measure again M, the distance. The measure is 60.164. I copy again this value and I modify the dimension here by subtracting now minus the measured value but without this 6 in front. Okay, let's make a measure again the distance now is very very near the 60 millimeters good i hide the two work planes and if you take a look at the drawing you see radius 10 at each corner up and down okay fillet 10 to all these four and the other four okay we continue with shell to obtain this uh, thickness of two millimeters but only a selection of the faces take a look here shell two millimeters now there is a void inside all this part and we don't want to have this face we also don't want to have this face and this and this and this and this and the other two remove faces you see, you see here I removed eight faces other fillets are here at uh, each uh, corner with the radius 10. Okay, let's do this. I select this face, 
fill it, 10, and I continue to select other edges up and down. I don't need to rotate the part because I can select each corner. Okay. Now the whole of 10. I select this face. Sketch. I close the sketch. I select hole and this point 10 millimeters is already placed and uh, through all also let's see what is the volume high properties physical update copy close double click and paste there is no difference between the two I apply cancel very good now I select the material like uh, stainless steel I apply shaded without edges and we compare the two one now is placed in the proper position and this you see no difference that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye